hi everyone hope you all are having a good day so last month i uploaded this video where i did a load test on my server the video did pretty well but a lot of you pointed out that i'm probably paying a premium price for my server which is six dollars a month for one gigs of ram one core cpu 1000 gigs of bandwidth and 25 ssd which to me seemed fair because a lot of other services like aws google linode offer pretty similar prices but i took your suggestion and checked out some of the cheaper options out there so the first one i checked out is a service called vps dime which offers four core cpu six gb ram 30 gb ssd two driver transfer all of this like only for seven dollars a month but uh, this is probably too much for my current requirements so uh, i didn't go for it next i checked out a service called Contable. Uh, a lot of you mentioned this uh, in the comment they provide uh, very similar specs for only like five dollars a month which is like very cheap right if i had to get like similar specs on this lotion i probably will have to pay like 24 dollars a month but for some reason i didn't like uh Contable's ui that much i know probably a very silly reason but to me a product's ui matters a lot uh for me to use it so the one i finally settled on is a service called hedzner uh, you probably have heard of this everyone has been talking about hezner on twitter lately uh, so i have to check it out they provide two core cpu four gigs of ram 40 gigs of ssd with 20 terabytes of transfer like crazy for only like 451 euros which is probably like five dollars a month now on paper this sounds great and seems like a no-brainer to just switch to hezner but is there like a catch like is it as good as they claim and how much traffic can the cheapest plan of Hedzner handle compared to like the cheapest plan of DieselOcean? To compare the performance, I deployed the same app both in DieselOcean and Hedzner. I will do some load tests on them and share the result with you. Hope you guys will enjoy the video. And yeah, let's get to it. So this is the app we will be testing throughout the video. It's called Retro UI. It's a retro style UI library. So this is the home page go to documentation you can basically uh, check out the different components just like uh, any other UI library now a lot of you questioned in the previous video why I am deploying this in a VPS why not just static export it or just deploy it to a serverless platform like Vercel, Lambda and all the reason is even though the core version is completely free and open source I'm also working on some premium components that only the paid users uh, will be able to access so for that i need to have a database to all the uh, user informations and stuff now if you want to get a separate managed database it might get kind of expensive i'm planning to host all my things related to this project like database the server code or the statics files into a same server uh, so yeah that's the reason why i am using a vps hope that answers the question now back to the main video this retroui.dev is hosted on DieselOcean, but I deployed a new one called hetzner.retroui.dev. This one is hosted on Hetzner. And if we check the server, this is the DigitalOcean version. As you can see, I have 1 gigs of RAM, and currently the server is using like 500 megabits. And this is the Hetzner version. Uh, we have two cores of memory, and for the RAM, we have almost 4 gigs and similar to the resolution it's also like using 500 plus uh, megabits so currently both of the website doesn't have much traffic but in the video we will do some load test to push both of the server to its limit we will start with 50 concurrent users then 100 then 250 and we'll end it 500 concurrent user and we'll see how both of them performs uh, in each section for load testing we'll be using this tool called locust a python based uh, testing tool i like it because it's very easy to get started but before we begin let's just see how each of them perform just one user so this is the retro version it just took like 179 milliseconds and this is the hezner version which took like 180 milliseconds so pretty similar no difference over here so let's start our load testing server first Starting on local 8089. Cool. So let's start with retroui.dev and then we'll move to Hetzner. 
So on our peak concurrency, it will reach to 50, and for each second, we'll ramp up to 10 users. Post is at the rate, and we'll run this for 30 seconds. Start. It's starting. We see our server. All right, looks like it's done. Uh, the average response time was 593 milliseconds. You see the analytics. You can see it started with zero requests per second and then 15 on its peak. We were handling like 87 plus requests per second. The thing we are looking for is average response time 593. Is this here? Now let's try for 100 users. Okay, right at the back, the average response time is slower this time. And if you see our server, you can see the CPU is almost maxed out. It's done. Okay, the average response time was 7.53 this time. Yes. Now let's try with 250. I'm pretty sure our DigitalOcean server may not be able to handle this. But for the science, right? So create a new one. 50 and let's run this one for one okay, right off the back you can see the average response is way higher now like cpu is like maxed out interestingly the memory is still not much affected because we are not doing a lot of memory operations right it looks like it's done the average response time was 1400 now the last one 500 virtual users we have fun one 500 ramp up 500 again yeah we'll run this for 60 seconds right so the requests are coming in we are currently handling like 160 requests per second. Ah, uh, damn. You can see the requests are getting very slow. And the average response time was like almost 6 seconds. Crazy. And if you see the failures, you can see we have a lot of failures. And at the end, we got almost 1000 uh, failed requests. So, yeah, obviously, our DigitalOcean server couldn't handle uh, 500 concurrent users. So if you just note this average time, almost six seconds, right? And now for Hedzner, we'll just comment this, this part. Let's restart the server. We will start the same by 50 users. And we'll run this for 30 seconds. And it took like 576 milliseconds. Copy this. Okay, so if you have like 500 concurrent user, you can see it's pretty similar. You will not see any major difference. Let's go for 100. All right, done. So the average was 626 milliseconds. Okay, so here you can kind of start to see the difference, right? For 100 virtual users, our average response time was like more than 100 milliseconds less, right? That's pretty good. Cool. Uh, on to the next stage. Okay, so it's done. The average response time was 950 with only five fails. So yeah, this time the difference was even greater, right? Now let's end this with our 500 virtual users. Up by 100. We'll run this for a minute. Start. Okay, so it's done and we can clearly see the difference here. The average response time is like 1.8 seconds versus 6 seconds for dissolution. 
and we only have like one failed request so it's crazy the difference so let's put that in 1.8 second so yeah clearly we have the winner here which is hesner uh, but the crazy part is this is costing me six dollars a month and this is five dollars a month so obviously uh, i'm gonna be moving to hesner obviously i currently don't have 500 concurrent users or even 50 so i will still have a lot of space where i'll be able to host maybe some of my other projects now all of this is pretty cool but at the end of the day these are all just made up numbers right i actually need to get to this real numbers so i can just share real life examples and for that i need to do marketing so as an effort for that i am launching retro ui on product hunt on december 2nd by the time you're watching the video it will probably be live so i'll link it in the description so make sure to check it out and leave an upvote uh, if you like it and yeah seems like these cheap vps providers are for real i'm not sure how they are doing it but whatever they're doing they are doing a really good job and it's only benefiting us end users thank you all for all the suggestions you gave me and yeah hope you guys like the video make sure to like and subscribe if you do that will inspire me to make more of this and yeah i'll see you guys next time bye bye